data objects in Pega are used to collect related case data. Data object is a template for describing an entity such as a person or an item by grouping a set of related fields. For example, in this case, if you see, account is a data object. It can be reused in two different service cases. One is transfer funds from account 1 to account 2 and another is the change address service case. If you see the data model of this account class, it contains properties like account number, current balance, next statement date, address. When you are designing a data model, use data objects to organize business data needed to process the case. As a best practice, the work class or the case type should only contain case metadata that is the fields that describe the case and case operation such as create date time, the person who has created it, the person or the persons assigned to any open task. So if you see most of the case data, metadata is already created by Pega platform itself by using OOTP properties like PY status for PS update date time, PX create date time, PX commit date time. So you can define additional metadata fields also if needed at the case level but try to use data layer in most of the cases because it boosts up the usability. So if you see this briefcase states that this new candidate is a case type. It is a service case. So these are the different data objects, candidate data object, address data object, employment history data object. You see the candidate data object has references to two other data objects. The address data object has a one is to one relation because there is a one line followed after this circle. If you see the employment history, it is one is to many relation because there are many outgoing connectors from this circle. It means that this is of type page. It means that this is of type page list. Address has only one record, whereas this has multiple records, employment history for this candidate itself. The candidate data object needs to include fields for information such as mailing address and employment history. The address and employment history can be configured as data objects referenced by the candidate data object. So if you see address table contains fields such as street name, city and postal code while the employment history can contains fields like start date, end date, position and employer. The address data object will, is used once to capture a single address while the employment history data objects can be used more than once to create a list of prior employers for the candidates. So you can also create data objects to reuse assets from an existing data object through, through the concept of inheritance. For example, we can think person as a generic data object or a parent data object while the CCR and customer are the, the two child or specialized data objects. So if you see common items like name, first name, last name, telephone, email can be created in the person class or the person data object. Specialized attributes can be created in the extended data objects. So common fields you can create in the person data objects. So you can reuse in both customer and CCR data objects. For example, customer can have additional specialized attributes like tax identification number, membership number and CCR, customer care representative can have additional specialized attributes like employee ID. So coming to sourcing data, say for example, whether any data do you need to store in PEGA or not, how would you decide? You can use this flowchart. So do you need to save the data outside of a case? You answer, you ask this question to yourself. No, we need not source. Then there is no system of record. For example, if you see a windshield repair case type, customers send a service request that includes the exact location of the customer. This current location is necessary only for that case level, only for that case context, only for that case processing, but is not useful outside of the case. So you need not save the data to any system of record. Does the data you need already exist? It is yes, you, you have to follow, go to through this path. If it already exists, means if it exists in some external system of record, you can go, go and get, then you need not save, right? Because externally sourced data object, 
से फॉर एग्जांपल कंसीडर ए कंपनी दैट हैंडल्स ऑटोमोबाइल रिपेयर एज अ पार्ट्स इन्वेंटरी डेटाबेस द कंपनी हैज अ न्यू इंप्लीमेंटेशन डेवलप्ड इन पेगा प्लेटफार्म द ऑटो पार्ट्स डेटा ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द पेगा एप्लीकेशन रेफरेंसेस द एक्सटर्नल पार्ट्स इन्वेंटरी डेटाबेस द कंपनी ऑलरेडी यूजेस मींस इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर मींस यू नीड नॉट स्टोर इट इन द एक्सटर्नल सिस्टम ऑफ रिकॉर्ड बिकॉज़ इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर से फॉर एग्जांपल if the uh, data you that you need doesn't exist already you see if the data is held by some other third party agency some centralized database or third party da master database if yes then that is will be your external system of record if not then you you will have two options whether it is external system of record or, or that is whether do you need to save the data outside of a case in an to an external system of record or you can save that data in the pega itself so locally sourced data object applicants specify whether they need special accommodations including readers large print exams in some enrollment application the list of special accommodation needs to exist outside of the case so that multiple case tests can access the information you do not need to share accommodation information with third party applications you can source the data object from a pega platform as well so in this case you need to create a pega platform as well that is you need after creating the data object or the data type go to the dev studio open that data type go to the re records configure source so you add a database table with a primary key so that rows will be added that is other than pr underscore other you need to create a special you need to configure source so that a dedicated table will be created for that data object if it is the external system of record you push the data to an external system of record manually so the flow goes like this for example some information is there in your case you you don't know what to do whether to save to the case or whether to keep outside of the case or whether to store in some third party system you ask you ask all these questions from starting so first thing do you, do you need to save the data outside of a case say for example if it is some local information no one else needs that is needed only within that case to process that case to take some decisioning and automation inside that case then in such case you need not store externally anywhere but say if you see uh, but what if the data already exists in some third party system external system then also you need not save right because it's already existing in this external system or say what if the text data is already having in some centralized database or some master server or some, some other external agencies uh, providing that data then also you need not save right because it is already there if you want to get use from it still but what if what, you, you should create a system of record in only when that the data is needed outside of the case and also not available in, with any external system or with any third party or uh, agency in such case you have two options if there is some already existing some external system of record but it is not updated or it's not already present then you need to push data to that external system of record or you can maintain that system of record in your pega environment itself 